How do you control the terms of a loan when you are a private money lender? And this actually is one of the great things about being a private money lender. You have a large uh, measure of control and flexibility regarding the terms of the loan with the investor. So the investor will want to negotiate terms uh, of course, that are skewed towards the investor. But you, as the private money lender, have the opportunity and the option of negotiating the terms that are more favorable to you. And of course, I like to create win-win situations and a private money loan ultimately is a win-win situation. So that's, that's what makes these, uh, these loan products for the investor so, so, uh, so good. Uh, because as an investor, <clears throat> sometimes it's hard to get really good terms uh, at a bank or the bank will only loan on certain types of investment uh, projects uh, or a hard money lend lender will charge a, just a lot of money and a lot of fees and just, you know, I guess they're called hard money lenders because they make it very difficult sometimes to really get a loan uh, that works for some deals. But uh, with, as a private money lender, you can negotiate terms that are really good for you uh, that work for the investor. And so as a private money lender, keep this in mind as you explore this world of being a private money lender that you can negotiate the terms. There's not one way of doing and structuring private money loans. Now, there are some standard ways in, in the process and securing your position and uh, putting the property up for collateral and your rights to foreclose on the property. All these ways of securing your position are very important. You don't want to compromise on that at all. But when I say the terms, it's like how much money, what percentage of the money are you going to loan compared to the value of the property? Uh, how, are, how is a loan going to be paid back? Are the, interest pay, are the payments going to be interest-only payments or are they going to be interest plus uh, principal pay down. Is the loan going, going to be amortized over 30 years and then paid off in six months? Or is it going to be amortized over 30 years and it's a 30-year loan? Uh, there's so much flexibility uh, in these loans and that's often driven by the deal. And sometimes it's not always the investor that is dictating what the term should be, but the deal itself sometimes uh, gives the lender and the investor um, clarity of, of how to structure the loan. But as the private money lender, you have a lot of control and flexibility. And of course, if you don't want to fund the deal, you don't have to uh, if you can't get terms that are agreeable to you. Uh, so, uh, for example, an investor may come to you with a deal and it really should be structured a certain way because of the deal it is. Maybe it's buying land and there's some development that will take place. And then the uh, the investor may want to take it to a phase two where he can subdivide the property and uh, start selling lots to builders and maybe start uh, hiring a builder to build homes uh, uh, for, uh, for his own investment. And you could fund parts of the, those transactions, maybe just acquiring the land and you want your money back when it gets to a point where uh, the land is entitled and subdivided and ready for builders to buy lots, uh, maybe you can get your money back at that point in time, or you can stay with the deal the entire time. But you can negotiate that with the, with the investor, uh, but the deal sometimes will give you the parameters of, of you know, certain things really do need to be in place uh, in terms of how long uh, the loan should be for, the minimum amount of time the loan should be for, and the maximum amount of time uh, that uh, should be allowed for the loan to be paid off. Uh, all these kinds of things uh, are negotiable, but the investor and the money lender really need to use their common sense depending on what the deal is. Uh, so if you have any questions about this and if you're thinking about getting into private money lending or you have talked to investors about private money lending and how and you, and you have questions about how things could be structured in a better way for you um, feel free to call me or text me anytime i'd be glad to talk to you uh, about what i've learned uh, about private money lending over the years and how these terms can be flexible and structured in a way that that's a win-win for both the lender and the investor.